Hi folk, just coming on, I'm in the middle of doing a wee um, wall hanging, saying we it's not really. Um, I cleared out my son's room the other day and I came across these huge big jigsaw pieces. They're really really thick. Um, I would reckon, wait a minute, I see. And I've lost my ruler, I don't know where my rulers went to. But I would reckon they are... 3mm deep um, and they're really sturdy um, so all I've done is I have painted this background first of all I went over it with gesso I haven't done the back yet I'm going to cover that just with paper um, painted it with gesso then I went in with the Pearl blush. I went in with a mixture of the pearl blush with the gesso just to lighten it slightly. I went in with tea pink and wisteria pearl just to add it an air wee bit of contrast. This was one of the resin plaques that I got from Emily at the trinket parlour and I've just painted it with do you think can you do me a favour first, honey? Can you give me out the print outs out the printer? Um, I painted over it with gesso first of all, then I went over it with the pearl blush. Thank you. Um, just to give it a wee pop of colour, and I probably will lighten it slightly with a bit of gesso once I'm done, or use a bit of ink of gold. I don't know what colour yet though. Um, I have put a bit of gesso over some white uh, silver berries. They're coming up grey just now, but I'll give them another coat. Um, some of the wee acorns just went over that with some gesso. Um, and I've got a plastic key here that I got a few years back for doing the Santa keys. But obviously I don't do them anymore, so I've still got tons of them left. So I'm just going to gesso over that again. Then I'll just go over it, probably with a wee bit of ink of gold, just to lighten it. I've got a couple of wee purple flowers there, they're a decent ones with the trim. I've took the trim out of it and I think I'm going to just pop a wee pearl or a wee crystal in there, just so it's not too bulky. So I was going to do it off camera and I thought no, do you know what, I'll just switch cam on and let you join in while I'm doing it. Um, I'm just going to plug my hot glue gun in while I'm blathering. Um, make a bit of room on here for it. Oh, this time of year I've just so much going on. Um, I have got a few wee images here that I've just printed off. Don't know what ones I want yet. I was considering the nativity scene but I'm a bit mm, about it I think I'll go for that one there I will have a go with that being right there yeah, I've decided it's going to be the postcard at the bottom I'm just going in really roughly not caring too much and then what I'm going to do is, where is my other resin piece that I just showed you? There. And what I'm going to do is, on the back, because I can see roughly where she is, I'm just going to roughly mark myself where I need to cut, but obviously I'll cut wider. That'll do me fine. So
and if it's a little bit small I'm not fussed because I can go around the side with some pearl or some bling something along those lines but I'm hoping it's not too little is a little short but we'll make it work. So, let me see just so I can maneuver it slightly. Yeah I can make that work. Right so I want a bit of pearl. Is there enough for that? No. Nope. Bling. There's plenty of bling in there. Rough. Yep, that'll be absolutely magic. So I'm just going to stick that down um, and I'll use a wee bit of PVA. If I can find it. Let's see. I'm just going to get around it outside with it because obviously there's nothing on the back yet. Just lightly going over the sides with a wee bit of PVA, and that's the neatest tacky glue. Oh. Oops, it is, and I'm just positioning it just over the slot like that. And then what I'm going to do is, what will I put on? I think I'll use a wee bit of the E6000 actually to make sure it doesn't disappear. And it also gives me a bit of time to ply about with it. Um, E6000, where are you? I had it in my hand earlier. It's like the house at Jack built and forgot to repair. Oh, that's there. Hayden. And put this on, I'm just going to use a cotton bud because it gives me a bit more time. It's a fresh one, I've just took it out of the tub um, and it worked with it. I'm just taking the cotton off it as best I can. And then just, whoops, a daisy, lifting a bit of the E6000 onto my cotton bud. Put the lid back on. Now I've had this tube for about two years or something. And I use it for all my hair clasps and I've never had to renew it yet. As long as you keep the, the lid on properly, you can still work with it. Sometimes goes a bit thicker, sometimes like a bit gummy, but it still works perfectly when I go to use it, so I'm not going to replace it as such. I do have some, that, the smaller ones that I bought from Amanda though, just in case I do run out or it eventually does clog completely, because um, I couldn't be without it. But for me, it was definitely a good investment. I think I paid about six. No, I'm a liar. I think I was about eight ninety nine. Um, but that was including shipping, so it wasn't too expensive. Right, 
Right, so I've went round it all with that. Now to start with this. And as I said, because I've put on the 6000, it's not going to stick it right away, so I'll have time to manoeuvre it. Otherwise, with the hot glue, you are... As soon as it's down, you're, you're kind of snookered if you want to change it. Unless you want to peel it all off again. Um, and I will be covering this with glossy accents because that's just what I think looks better. Um, but that's totally up to you. I know a lot of people don't bother with glossy accents um, or they use a bit of acetate. Both work just as well but for me I like the glossy accents look. There we go and I'll just Make sure that squeezes in there okay. So yeah, that's what you've got there the now. I'm filming the now that's up. Oops, got a wee strand. I'm just gonna go for it with glossy accents. What is that? Stand in your little studio. And with your glossy accents, just make sure you don't take your um, nib out the fluid. That saves you getting bubbles. And then I will just place that aside to let it dry. There we go. Re point that there. That's better. I think I might need to put a wee bit of stubble side tape on the back of that now because it's looking a bit saggy where the, um, the hole in the back is. I'll just put that there now and it just saves it from falling right through. So that's what you've got there. And I'm just I'll need to probably leave that to dry naturally. Um, so when I put it on the project, it will just be damp still. Right, so back to the project. Now I'm going to add a bit of lace. And I've got some of this white stuff here. I think I might add down this way. Aye, I was just thinking about it there. Right, so if I put the pin back in there and chop. I'm so filming if you want something just say it. Put that back, that's the veins. <sighs> I'll watch it later on catch up.
Right, so I've got that and then I'll just trim that back. Stop annoying the dog and go away. The bloody nuisance is worse than the wind. Ian, don't annoy him, I'm filming. Stick my all down because I want to be able to put things under there. Ian, you're just being a pest. Mm, Jerry's out in that one. Let me see what I've got in here. I have got some other pedally bits in here. Another wee pine cone I might use that. Some of that. That's too much there. Could I might use that. Right, there's going on there. What? Uh, I want to just go into your room and play the PlayStation. Mm. Or watch a DVD. How would I watch a DVD? On the PlayStation. and whatever. I did trend and I learned all they done with bloody argue. And the fight is just wrestling and so he got tucked out because I was just demented. They got on well but when they're together so much they just start arguing over nothing and I just kind of be annoyed with it really to be honest so there we go that's that Florally bit down here. So. Just keep my noise down though please because I'm filming still. bag of doodads in this that I can add in. We boys. So 
be slower, but I'll need to change that because I don't like the colour of that. A wee cluster of roses. behind it as well I think to give it a bit of body. Gently putting that on, and it's just so that it's got some fluff under it, really. going to be a flower over that so I'm not worried. Right. And then I'm just going to add another wee bit coming down the way. So I'll just chop that. And then I'll just double it over, double it again and then just give it a few wee slicks just so that it's not too And then I just position it around there, I think. Yep. Shouldn't really need to add much glue because I think most sets are already holding from the glue that was underneath. Ouch. Don't burn yourself, that's not the best idea. There we go. And as I said, that just gives it a wee bit of body underneath when it's hanging up. Right, so, next move. My flowers, I'm just making sure these are open. So I'm just separating some of the petals because they just look a bit stuck and I don't like that effect. Um, went a bit heavy handed with the glue I think on this one at some point but we'll work with it so I'm going to just place that right there and 
And then I've got a couple of these wee foamy ones. And I'll be taking the, the green off them. I just don't like the green on the bottom of them. They may, I think they cheapen the flower sometimes. Especially, I mean, these are foam roses. Why put paper around the bottom? It just beggars belief. With the foam ones, I just make sure that I tuck the wire up so that they don't all fall apart. Um, and the same with this, once I take the paper off. Just the wee metal bit underneath. Kind of stick your nail so that you can see it. And then just flip it round that way. So that it kind of holds underneath. And we'll just stick them in. Oh, boy, I'm glue gun. Drive from the bananas. There must be somebody in the UK that can invent a glue gun that doesn't leak its precision and that will only make us all mental. So if there's anybody out there that's inventing things, that's the one thing to invent because you'd you'd be a multi millionaire within weeks. One, two, three. Again, I'm taking the green off if I can. There we go. I say that it just drives me crazy. Um, oh, I just wave it on there. I just set it on that side. said I love doing these wee projects they don't take too long um, I mean I've been at it probably for about half six or something but I've not been constantly at it I've been footering about with other things and um, replying on Facebook and things so it's not been steadily on it And I was watching I'm a Celebrity for last night because I missed it. Um, I want one of them on. Yep. Take that all off. Put that on. Few wee colours. Right, I'm gonna put that on first though. Like this side. This will be going out in a swap that I'm doing on Crafty Swappers UK. Um, so I won't be posting this up until I have known that the lady has received it. Um, I have made her another few wee bits and bobs to put in her parcel because it's like a Christmas themed swap. Uh, I know this isn't Christmas themed but a gift and a gift is Christmas so I'll make it work. Yeah, I'm just adding a wee bit of glue onto the end and I will manoeuvre that in to there if I can. Nope, that's not going to manoeuvre it in. So I'll we'll just add another wee bit. And we'll 
see if I can do it here. There we go. That's better. Right, and I'll add one under this part here, I think. Don't know if I'll fit it in there, but we'll try. There's one there. Will it fit in? Nope. Under there. Nope. Right. Drastic actions. Take the green off. And we'll do it that way. And I've got a blob at the bottom of my glue gun that I don't want to land in my arm or anything. So this one is going in there. Yep, like that. Now we've got a few of these wee ones here, so I'll just chop them off. I don't think I'm going to get this paper one off somehow. think of all but I think if I put it under the pink it'll disguise it a wee bit. I'll put it in there. No, it shouldn't bother me that much. And if it does I can colour over it. I nearly actually tried to go and catch that there. How silly. Right, so if I just turn that and get it to sit in there like that. I think I'll try and manoeuvre that weave over a wee bit so it kind of covers it a bit. same with this I think I'll manoeuvre this one back a wee bit. all came apart but that's fine. So if I add that in there I hope I'm in short, but I'm just, when I'm working with hot glue I'm not the, the greatest, so I stuck that one down and I'm just going in to the centre with that part. And 
that should give me a bit of a spray there coming up a few of these be loose bits that are just annoying me. Right, so I'm going to add another one of these bee sprays here and again it's done the same thing, it's fell apart. But we'll make it work. Just a wee spot. On there and position it and give it a wee dab in. Um, one, two, and add the other bit go. and then we'll add that bit in there I don't know if I'll add a spray in there. I think I might just add a wee gemstone. Sorry my desk's a bit madly cluttered at the minute. Because I've got a bit of mulling projects going on at once. Put a heavy amount of glossy accents in there to make sure it stays. Then I'll just get a wee clear gemstone that's been upside down. And I'm trying to do it to you, not to me. That'll do it. Oops. It can stay there. I hope. Maybe not. Might need to add a wee bit of hot glue actually. It's inside a flower, no one will notice. that bit there and I'm going to add one more coming down this side here whoops coming down from here out but I want the stem on this time so I'm cutting it a bit longer so it doesn't all fall apart on me and I just put a decent amount of glue it round and then just try and it slot it under that's fine there we go so we've got that wee flower spray there now which looks fab oh and I'm just going to give that a wee blast with hot air to try and get rid of all the glue strands. Just excuse me a minute. And that also shrinks the chill a wee bit as well and makes it a bit prettier. Right, so that's it there. Oops, 
got in the back there. Nothing, it's just one of the the pearls. Right, so then we've got our frame. And that's going to be going there. Or will I put it open? No, I want it there. So I'm just going to glue that down. Oops. I'll just take that double sided tape off now because I don't think I need that now. And I'm just adding a good dollop of hot glue. And just position it on where I want it. I'm not pressing it down too hard because. I don't want any of the hot glue seeping out from under it. Right, so that's what we've got there. And I'm just, I'll probably add just maybe a wee sentiment up here. So I'm going to go and I will come back on when I've completed it and let you see the finished project. Thanks for watching, I'll speak to you soon. Take care for now. Bye.